have to believe that God exists. We have to believe that God exists. We have to believe that God exists. For he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We have to believe that God exists. In Webster's Dictionary, it defines faith as belief or trust that does not question or ask for proof. Belief or trust that does not question or ask for proof. Belief in God and religion. By faith, by faith, I believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Savior, God manifested in the flesh. I cannot prove that to you. I, by faith, I, by faith, have chosen to believe this. By faith, I believe that through him and his blood, I have forgiveness of sin. By faith, I believe that I am a child of God and not a child of the devil. Praise God, because he saved me. Can you say amen, church? By faith, I believe that I will spend eternity in heaven. By faith. I believe that I do not have to walk in fear or in doubt because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I don't have to be afraid anymore. By faith, I know that my God shall supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. By faith, Jesus promises to be with me to the very end of the age. I have chosen to believe these things because the Bible teaches me that this is what is mine through Jesus Christ, our Lord and my Savior. So you see, I have never seen heaven. I have never seen Christ. I can't tell you where I'm going to be 10 years from now or what's going to happen, but I know this. By faith, as long as I walk with Jesus and do the best that I can to live for Him, I know that I'm going to be okay. I don't know where I'm going to be, but I know that I'm going to be okay as long as I walk with Jesus. If a person cannot bring himself to let go and surrender his or her life to Almighty God by getting to the point where he or she humbles himself and willingly comes to Him, then they will not inherit the kingdom of God. We have to believe that God exists. The problem with many people is that they want to maintain or keep control of their life. They do not want to surrender. They want to be in control. The problem with many people is that they want to maintain or keep control of their life. In order for us to surrender our lives to God, we have to have faith that there is a God. In order for us to surrender our lives to God, we have to have faith that there is a God. We have to believe that God exists. We have to believe that God exists. We have to believe that God exists. We have to be willing to surrender our lives to Him. And believe me, church, this is a very difficult thing. Most of us, maybe the majority of us in here, have made that decision to willingly, by faith, surrender our lives to God. But believe me, for many, many others, it's a very difficult decision. And they can't do it. They don't want to do it. They want to keep control. of Matthew chapter 10. Let's go there, please. These are the words of Christ, and he says, He who loses his life for my sake will find it. He who loses his life for my sake will find it.
verse 10, these are the words of Christ, and he says, He who loses his life for my sake will find it. How many of you know that those are very powerful words that Christ is saying there? Can you say amen, church? Christ is literally telling us that we must be willing in order to follow him. We must be willing to completely surrender our lives to his control. Be willing to put our life in his hands. That whatever he chooses to do with us, we leave it in his hands.